gentlemen, Mr. Ed Dijardin. Yeah, hey. How's it going? Wow, what a great, what a great weekend we're having. We had a wonderful house concert last night. And, uh, and here we are. Thanks so much for coming out. The support is tremendous. It's, it means so much to us. We worked really hard to get all this together, so to have you all show up. We wouldn't have a show if it wasn't for you, as always. So I'd like to thank uh, Nancy McGinnis and Keith Peters for really helping with the publicity and getting those beautiful articles. And <laughs> making it so that when you get up in the morning and make your coffee, Jeff Pilar's staring. <laughs> it's just great. Uh, it's just great. It's great to have you. Uh, so, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're going to do one long set tonight. There's, uh, there's CDs available outside. There's all kinds of, of good things going on. But I'd just like to introduce uh, a good friend, Mr. Jeff Pivar. Thank him for coming all the way. It's an honor. Thank you. Uh, and uh, and well, he, bought a, he bought someone with him. This is it. This is uh, Inger Jorgensen. She's came from Oregon as well. So. All right. So we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll introduce the rest of the band a little bit later. And once again, thank you so much. Uh, who wrote this first tune? Do you know? Peter Tosh. Peter Tosh. We're going to start with a Peter Tosh tune. And get everybody moving a little bit. All right. Yes. Let's hear it for the thank ski team. Thank you, Ed. Well, before we begin, I just want to um, say uh, what I'm in such gratitude to be here to help contribute to, in any way to young kids having a, a drive, having something they're interested in doing, um, sports, you know, skiing, um, you know, to be able to bring music and help support something like that, it's, it's truly an honor. So thank you for asking us to do this. And uh, thank you for showing up to support this. As we know, uh, it's just important to uh, support our young kids who uh, have, have a passion. I know for me, if I didn't get some of that support when I was a, a young dude interested in playing guitar, I wouldn't have found my dream. And um, so, um, and also I just want to say uh, to Ed, because this is probably sixth or seventh time I've come up to the area to perform. Um, I think Ed is just doing a fantastic job to support music, live music in our community, in this community. Ed and Robin and, and Andrea. So uh, it's always a pleasure for me. I, I'm from a small town, smaller town too in Connecticut, and it's always uh, such a warm feeling to feel that uh, community, and uh, anyway. So there you have it. Uh, we're going to start with this tune, and we're going to sing a little bit for you here. Stop the train, I'm Stop that train, I'm leaving, cause it won't be too long, whether I'm right or wrong, won't be too long, whether I'm right or wrong.
on bass, and look at that bass. I love that bass. So it, is it always this cold here? Yeah. I don't know how you do it. So we like taking songs that we've heard before and kind of 
messing with them, you know, making them our own or at least making them different.
That's Ed Dujardin, and that's Inger Jorgensen, and that's Robbie Gott. I mean, it just goes on and on. I'd like to feature Inger on this next song. This is a song by Nina Simone. I want to dedicate this song to Ed and Robin tonight because they have been such great hosts and made us feel so good this weekend. Thank you, guys. We love you. And the cooking, the cooking alone. Fly out in the sun, you know what I mean. Butterfly, all having fun, you know what I mean. Sleep in peace when day is done, that's what I mean. It's a new world, it's a bold world, it's a new world. When you 
inside You know what I mean Scent of the pie You know what I mean Freedom is mine I know how I feel It's a new dawn It's a new day It's a new life dedicate this song to my lovely man Jeff who are, we will be celebrating 10 years this year. Just what was wrong with me 
your kiss Help me name it Well, I'm no longer doubtful Of what I'm living for Cause if I make you happy I don't need to do more You make me feel You make me feel You make me feel Like a natural woman Oh baby What you done to me me feel so good inside and now I just want to be close to you you make me feel so alive cause you make me feel you make me feel you make me feel like a Natural woman. without some Beatles, you know, right? Wasn't it John Lennon's birthday recently? I believe it was. Attempt at an English accent. Yeah, close.
What a band. So I had the great pleasure of touring first with David Crosby and Graham Nash uh, in a trio. Very interesting opportunity. I was touring with Mark Cohn. You guys familiar with Mark Cohn, walking in Memphis guy? So we were touring as a duo, and then we got asked to join, uh, well, to open for Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And after about three gigs, Crosby pulls me aside and says, you know, Jeff, Graham and I have been watching you, and, well, we think you'd be perfect for our duo, and, du duo when we're not working with Steven. And I said, you know, Dave, I don't know. I've got some weddings booked back here. Is that <laughs> Anyway, I, I ended up touring with uh, them as a trio, and then <clears throat> David asked me to join a band with his son that he had never met. I don't know if you know this story. It's a long one, so I won't tell it to you now, but we put a band together called CPR. Um, is, have any of you ever heard of yeah. any of that music? <laughs> awesome. Um, well, anyway, long story short, uh, I did get asked to tour with Crosby, Stills, and Nash for a few years, and... Um, that is why I'm telling you the story. Of course, I'm proud of having a chance to work with um, heroes of mine who turned into friends, who turned into not so great friends. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's all good. Um, this is a song by Stephen Stills, and, and you'll probably recognize it at some point along the way. But again, we tend to do things to tunes that uh, they never would. Maybe that's why we're not friends. No, I'm just kidding. We are friends. <laughs>
Robbie Coffin on guitar, folks. Yeah. Do not try that at home without a ski pass. Yes. So we have a special guest in the, in the crowd. Robbie Coffin, fantastically talented daughter. Maggie. Maggie Coffin. Hi, Maggie.
Maggie Coffin, folks. Awesome. A chip off the old block. <laughs> Robbie, would you do us the honor to sing a tune? Actually, I, I refer to her as my, my retirement plan. Nice, nice, there you go. Just don't tell us she's wearing your hand-me-downs and we're all set. <laughs> Touche. I'm gonna get you for that one. You will.
morning Don't believe what I saw Hundred billion bottles washed up on the shore Seems I'm not alone and being alone, being alone Hundred billion castaways searching for a home Sending SOS to the world, I send an SOS to the world Hope that someone gets mine Hope that someone gets mine Hope that someone gets my message in the bottle Message in the bottle Well, message in the bottle Message in the bottle Robbie Coffin, folks. If you'd like to bring out Inger Jorgensen once again, please. I'll take a little bit more monitor on mine. I'm 
Sam Cook song. Time to get funky. in 
give it up for these guys, man. They're yeah. amazing. Dave Thibodeau on the bass. Alfred Lund on the drums. Hey, Mr. Ed, come up here and grace us with your vocal cords, would you, young man? How about that Robbie Coffin on guitar? Boy, oh boy. So many years ago, I got turned on to an ensemble from the US called The Band. I'm sure you're familiar with them. I wasn't at the time. <clears throat> and now, of course, they're probably the most influential, certainly one of the most influential bands that have ever come across these shores. And um, their amazing drummer, Levon Helm, passed, us, passed away this past year. We'd like to send this song out to Levon Helm.
What a band, huh? How about a job, right? What an audience, huh? Yeah, that's right. And what a sound, man. Brad Truman's yeah, making Brad. it sound great. Thank sound. you, man. It sounds so good up here. Thank you. So I had, I had a, um, the great honor of uh, being asked to tour with Phil Lesh from the Grateful Dead a number of years ago. And the only stipulation for doing the gig was I had to learn 70 Grateful Dead songs for the tour. Part of uh, the reason of this is they'll play multiple nights in the same venue and a lot of the clientele tend to go to all of the shows or at least a lot of them. So they try not to repeat songs. So we, we played the Beacon for six nights and uh, I even think with the 70 songs we still had to repeat some. But not like tonight with the longer guitar solos. But um, anyway, <laughs> this next song is a song I learned for that tour. And it's actually, um, I don't know if it's a dead tune, but certainly the, the dead performed it. Uh, we're going to add our own little slant to it, though.
folks. like to thank you all. We have time for about one more tune. I'd like to give a shout out to, to Steve DeAngelis, who's doing such a great job with the ski team. And thank you all so much for coming to support this cause. It's just a, a beautiful thing when the community comes together like this. And uh, so applaud, applause for yourself, you know. Thank you. Ed, do you have any thoughts at this moment, my friend? No, I'm pretty happy. It's my thought for the moment. <laughs> That's a happy thought. Yeah. Well, shall we play this last tune then? Oh, I think so, yeah. Come on.
Jeff Peabar, Andrew Jorgensen, Dave Thibodeau, Alfred Lund, Robbie Koff, and Maggie Koff. Maggie, give it up for Maggie. And we, we have matching shirts, we just wanted to say that was an accident. Awesome. Go Miranda Cook Ski Team. You've been a great audience. Thanks for bringing us to Maine, everybody. We love you. And by the way, on your way out, why don't you pick up a couple of Jeff's amazing CDs? He has his debut album out there, including a couple of CPR CDs. So. If you don't mind, they're out on the, in the lobby and I promise you, you will enjoy them thoroughly.